This is a public service announcement from Linking Your Thinking. What is a note? A note is any container of thought. Pretty broad, huh? Let's think about it. Note to self. Yes, sir. Noted, sir. A note could be a sticky note or scribbles on a napkin that maybe you've kept around for a few years. Pretty cool, huh? A note could be a single idea or an entire library of thoughts. It can hold the data about a person or log the phases of the moon. The contents of a note are only limited by our imaginations. So if a note is indeed any container of thought, then that means the internet has more notes than any one person can read in their entire life a thousand times over. So let's tighten our definition of a note so it's more practical. For you and me, when we talk about a note, we're really talking about containers of thought that mean something to us. That means it doesn't matter what's on the entire internet. And that is such a relief because we don't have to be overwhelmed by all of that stuff. What matters is what notes we've taken personally, the notes we've personally made. Take note, a note is a container of thought that has meaning for the person who made it. So a note can be a bit subjective. One person's trash is another person's treasure. And at their best, our notes are treasures. At their worst, our notes are overwhelming, ADHD-riddled collections of thoughts we've never actually read that act as this static noise that distracts us and discourages us from spending more time with the meaningful notes. This is the collector's fallacy, and it's practiced by the information hoarders, so scared to lose some drop of water from the never-ending information stream that they never have any time to actually drink from it. These people sure have lots of notes, lots of containers of thought. It's just too bad they've never enjoyed any of them. Instead of just hoarding information like an addict, what if we took just a bit of it, a sliver of something that is interesting or meaningful, and we chewed on it, savored it, digested it? To mix metaphors, what if we wrestled with it, you know, got to know it? in such a way that we could explain it to a friend, and they'd get it. Information hoarders can't explain the ideas they encounter. They might be able to regurgitate them, and they would even probably be rewarded for it in today's world with more digital followers. But what a corrupt value system that is. They are choosing surface-level regurgitation that deprives them the joy that comes from thinking itself. They are trading a nourished soul for applause. Okay, I'm stepping off the soapbox, but if you've read books that meant a lot to you in the moment, but now it feels like you have nothing to show for it, if you have years of knowledge that you've either forgotten or that you're not growing in value over time, it's quite possible you're in the trap of note-taking instead of note-making. Here's a simple test for you. Look at the notes you've taken, not yesterday, but two to three years ago. How many of them have you continued to grow and link to other ideas and experiences you've had? If the answer is none, or it sounds like I'm speaking a foreign language, then you might benefit from learning how to make notes and link ideas in a way that nourishes your soul now and keeps growing in value long into the future. And guess what? There's a workshop for that. Check the description below and join the next one and make this year the year of the note maker. <laughs>